welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about the project, which is methodology for an automatic license plate recognition system using convolutional neural networks for a Peruvian case study. Peru's increasing vehicle population has led to congestion and delays at parking facilities due to manual license plate registration. This project creates an automatic license plate recognition, which is ALPR system, tailored to Peruvian license plates to expedite vehicle access and reduce congestion. Using image processing and convolutional neural networks with Python and OpenCV, the project seeks to develop an ALPR system. It will locate license plates accurately and employ optical character recognition, which is OCR, for character extraction, thereby streamlining vehicle registration. The project addresses the need for efficient vehicle access control in Peru, reducing registration time, minimizing human intervention, and ultimately improving traffic flow. It will also contribute to a new database specific to Peruvian license plates for future research and applications. The core objective is to develop an automatic license plate recognition system customized for Peruvian license plates. This system aims to streamline vehicle registration and access, control at parking facilities, reducing congestion and improving operational efficiency. The project aims to utilize image processing techniques for image enhancement and segmentation, convolutional neural networks with YOLO v4 and YOLO v3, and YOLO v5 for accurate license plate localization and optical character recognition for character extraction. These algorithms collectively automate the license plate recognition process. The ultimate goal is to create a robust and automated solution that minimizes human intervention, accelerates vehicle entry at parking areas, mitigates delays, optimizes resource utilization and ultimately contributes to smoother traffic flow in Peru's urban areas. For implementing the project, we need hardware and software requirements. In hardware requirements, we need operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Coming to software requirements, we need Anaconda 3 and Visual Studio Community version. For implementing the project, we have designed few modules in the flow of work. The first one is importing the packages. In this module, the necessary libraries and packages are imported in enable various functions and tools. And they are NumPy for efficient numerical operations and array manipulation in tasks like image processing and data handling. Pandas is imported for data manipulation. CV2 for computer vision tasks such as image processing, contour detection, and object recognition. Matplotlib for data visualization. Escalon for machine learning tasks. And TensorFlow for deep learning and neural network based tasks. Coming to exploring the data set using license plate detection data. This module involves data exploration where the data set containing license plate images is examined to understand its structure and content. Image processing. Here we have few steps. The first one is desizing the image. This step involves adjusting the size of the images to a consistent format. Next one is converting the color from BGR to RGB. Images are converted from the BGR color space to the more common space which is RGB color. Coming to con converting the color from BGR to gray. Conversion to grayscale simplifies image processing. Finding the contours based on edges. Here, contours which are the outlines of the object are detected based on edges in the images. Drawing the contours. After contour detection, this step involves drawing the detected contours on the images to visualize and potentially refine the results. Detecting the license plate. In this first step is finding the distance. This module calculates distance between objects or points in the images. Finding the index of coordinate. It locates the index of specific coordinates within the image. Assign index to previous and next coordinate. This step involves assigning indices to previous and next coordinates for further analysis. The next step is finding the angle of rotation. The angle of rotation of the objects are determined. Finding the contours. Additional contour detection is performed, possibly refining the initial results. Coming to the module which is finding the characters in the result images. In this, the first step is segmenting the characters. Characters on the license plates are isolated from the background. Making border to white. A white border is added around the segmented character. Estimation of the characters. The characters' identities are estimated. 
coming to building the model using CNN YOLO V3 wings which is you only look once. YOLO V3 you only look once version 3 is an object detection algorithm that aims to identify objects within the images or video games, video frames. It divides the input image into a grid and uses convolutional neural networks to analyze each grid cell for object detection, classifying the objects present and providing their bounding boxes coordinates. CNN with YOLO V3 is used for license plate detection. This approach leverages the YOLO V3 architecture, real-time capabilities and object location accuracy to efficiently locate and identify license plates within the images or video frames. The CNNs with YOLO V3 plays a crucial role in learning and extracting features, making it suitable for object recognition tasks like license plate detection. Building the model for CNN and YOLO V4 weights YOLO V4 is an advanced version of the YOLO object detection architecture, known for its speed and accuracy. It also employs the concept of dividing the input into a grid and uses CNNs for object detection. But it incorporates various architectural improvements and training techniques to achieve better performance. It is employed for license plate detection. YOLO V4 offers improved object detection accuracy compared to YOLO V3, making it suitable for tasks where precision is critical, such as recognizing license plates. The CNNs with YOLO V4 enhances feature extraction, allowing for better localization and classification of objects, ultimately leading to more accurate license plate recognition. Coming to predicting the license plate number. In this, we have two things, which are predicting the output. The train model are employed to predict the license plate numbers showing the result. The predictions are displayed or visualized. Coming to installing the packages required for YOLO V5. This module involves the installation of necessary packages and dependencies to run YOLO V4, YOLO V5 in Google. Coming to processing the database on YOLO V5 model. Data pre-processing is performed to prepare it for training and inference using the YOLO V5 model. Coming to building the model. The YOLO V5 model is constructed and configured for training. YOLO V5 represents the next iteration of YOLO series designed for real-time object detection. It maintains the core concept of YOLO, dividing the input into a grid and employs CNNs, but in further optimized for efficiency and performance. It is likely chosen for license plate detection due to it is state-of-the-art performance combining speed and accuracy. YOLO V5's lightweight design makes it suitable for real-time applications such as recognizing license plates within images or video frames. It excels in object detection tasks including localization and classification, providing a robust solution for license plate recognition in various conditions. Coming to training the model. The YOLO V5 model is trained on the prepared dataset to improve the object detection capabilities. Coming to Flask framework with SQLite for sign up and sign in. Flask, a Python web framework, is used to create a web application for user sign up and sign in. The SQLite is employed as a lightweight database for user management. User gives input as image or video. User provides input in the form of images or videos for license plate detection. Coming to the given input is pre processed within train model is used for detection license plate. Here, the object's input is vehicles and license plates are segmented and surrounded by the bounding boxes to highlight their locations. Coming to the segmented each object and put bounding boxes. Here, the segmented image has given the bounding boxes. Coming to extracting segment characters using OCR. Here, the test track OCR which is optical character recognition is utilized to extract characters from the segmented license plates. Coming to final outcome displayed. The final outcome which likely includes detected license plate numbers and their characters is displayed to the user providing the desired results of the project. For execution of the project, we need to open the code folder which contains the source code files. This is the static folder. This folder consists of the files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap files. This is the templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, which represent different pages of the website. This is the app.py file. 
This file contains the information related to front end logic. It includes code written in Python that handles server side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database and generating dynamic content that to be rendered in the HTML templates. And this is the notebook.ipynb file. This file is a Jupyter notebook file which contains a combination of code graphs and outputs all in one place. It allows users to write and execute code in individual cells. This is the sign up file. This file is the database file used to store the user information. Now we need to copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. Now we'll copy this and open Anaconda prompt. So here we need to use cd command followed by the space and paste the copied path. This command is used to change the current directory to the code folders path. Now we will click on enter. So the current directory is changed to the code folders path. Here we need to type python space app.py. This will compile app.py file and this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. Now we will click on enter. After running the app.py file, the Flash framework will host the application locally at the default address which is 127.001 which is the local host and the port number which is 5000 unless configured differently. So this is the local host and this is the port number. Now we will copy this local link and paste it in any web browser. I prefer Google Chrome so I will paste it in that. So here I will paste it and then click on enter. So this has redirected to the web page which is displayed in the browser and this is developed by using the Flask framework. Now we need to click on sign up. And if you are registering newly, we need to fill all these details. I have directly, I have already registered so I will directly click on sign. So here I will give my credentials and the password and click on sign in. So it has redirected to the web page. YOLO V5 model is performing well so that model will be used for the prediction purpose in the web interface. Now we need to upload the image and then click on upload. So we will have the we will get the prediction for the plate uh, license plate recognition. Now we will click on choose file. So we will choose the image. So we'll select this image and click on open. Here the image is choose so now we will click on upload. So here uh, with the red color bounding box the registration plate is detected which is license plate with the 0.88 probability. Now we will upload another image and see what will be predicted. We'll choose the third image and then click on open and click on upload. So here it is detected with the red color bounding box of the license plate. Now we will upload other image. So here the license plate is detected with the red color bounding box of 0.84 probability. In this way we can upload any images of the vehicles and then the license plate will be predicted. Now we will sign out. Conclusion is. The project has successfully implemented an automatic license plate recognition system tailored specifically to Peruvian license plates, employing cutting-edge image processing techniques and convolutional neural networks. The ALPR system has proven its efficiency by significantly reducing the need for manual vehicle registration, resulting in quicker access to parking facilities and reducing traffic congestion. It serves as a practical solution to modernize vehicle access control in Peru. This project not only addresses the immediate challenges but also provides a foundation for future advancements in urban traffic management. The development database and algorithms offer a valuable resources for ongoing research and optimal potential applications in the real of the license plate recognition and transportation. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, 
Please visit Through Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.